Hello everyone, Ninesec here and welcome to the first SFM Tips video and in this video, if you've looked at the title, we are going to be showing you how one way to get skins in Source Field Maker and I'm talking about skins as in weapon skins they were introduced during the Gunmetal update and there was four more skin collections added in a Tough Break so we're going to show you the way that I don't really use it but someone else used it on the stream which I had to help them with so first thing you need to do is actually get into a map loaded so we can show this off so we're just going to go into this map I guess so yeah we're not really going to go into how to add the unusual gun effects that you might know there's energy orb isotope cool Oh, and I um, think there might be one more, but I'm not too sure. So we're just going to use this area to show off the guns. You will need to get a C underscore skin. Obviously, it's only the stock weapons that have skins. Not, not including some of the guns. Not all of them have skins. So let's, let's just get the minigun, you know. The minigun's quite nice. So we're just going to set up a camera. See, so it works with like pretty much. It works with every skin that you can get in one of the cases. So the first thing you want to do is head on to the Source Filmmaker Workshop. Source Filmmaker Workshop. If you don't know how to do that, obviously go to your software section if you've installed Source Filmmaker, and there's a workshop here. You just select Browse Workshop, and then you want to type in TF2 Decorated Weapons. Now by doing this, you'll see this thing by Baldur's Todd, which I know it shows the minigun, but it, sh it has all of these skins that are labelled with what collection they have skins for. That So I've already subscribed to that one because I helped someone yesterday. Let's choose the Concealed Killer one. So you subscribe to it, and what a lot of people are doing, so if we... This is one of the common misconceptions, they'd be like, oh okay, like I want the minigun, the king of jungle minigun, so this is what a lot of people do, obviously you download it, what a lot of people do, is that they just go into their create animation set for new model, and they just paste it in, and then they're like, why is it not working? Well the reason it doesn't work is, as you can see, this has VTF at the end, and what that is, is the material part of the gun. Without this, it would just show a black and purple texture, which is a missing texture. You can see it for all the Half-Life 2 props, but it's also for every prop in the game, including the minigun. So if we go back to the minigun again, it also has MDL. So now we basically have all the VTFs installed and the materials of the weapons. Now obviously I'm doing the minigun so just copy that, we'll use that later. Obviously if you're using, I don't know, the revolver, rocket launcher, you select that. Then what you want to do is click on the C underscore minigun or whatever gun you're using and click add override materials and then you show that in the element viewer model. And you go to materials and you want to make sure to select C underscore minigun and not the gold one or the one at the top which is the game model you right click on that you add the attribute and you want to do string not string array just string and this message will pop up pop up telling you to add the string and you want to type dollar sign base texture now if this if you've done this correctly the gun should be purple and black, which I said before was a missing texture. So, and what we're doing is we're going to put the texture on it. So if you, like, if you press the little square plus button next to the C underscore minigun, you see it pop up with cloak factor, cloak colour tin, and base texture. You don't need to worry about these two. They're not really important to weapons. You want to focus on here. Now, as you can see, we've got a data part. And you want to click on that, there's a little gap next to it. And whatever VTF you copied in, so I said I was doing the minigun, so what I did was I 
Just highlighted the minigun King of Jungle since that's the skin I wanted. And then I click on the gap, control, paste that in. And as you can see, it's worked. Now I would recommend if we get the heavy for the example. I'm not sure if it, I think it does happen on the minigun. But if we get the heavy in his pose, I've noticed this uh, just in with general. Sometimes the, when you um, zero it in, so when you get the heavy one, and then you drag it on the minigun and you zero it in. I'm not sure if it's going to do it here. Yeah, it's done it here, as you can see, that barrel of the minigun has gone in from itself. And so, yeah, I would recommend, like... Po adding the skin before after you've posed and everything so then you won't have to zero it in and then the muzzle the muzzle of the minigun will not be inside the minigun anyway i hope this helped you with getting skins this works with like the scat gun pistol minigun flamethrower revolver shotgun smg knife Sniper rifle, all of the basically stock weapons, not including the melees. So yeah, Bowler's Todd's workshop, I will put a link in the description. Where he has done another way, but we're going to do that in the next video. Showing you the second way to do it, there is another way which I personally use, but we'll show that there. So as you can see here, we've got obviously the... We did the Concealed Killer, but we've got the Warbird, we've got the Pyroland, Powerhouse, Two Fort. And he's basically just got all of them together, which is really super helpful. So I hope this helps you understand how to get skins in Source Filmmaker. If you have any suggestions on what you'd like me to go over, please feel free to put it below. I'm thinking of doing lighting and unusuals and like stuff like that. This is going to coincide maybe in the month or two with my... SFM for dummies, where like I might say, if you if you get confused by this, like you can check out this previous video or something like that on it. So anyway, thank you guys for watching this tutorial on how to add skins, and I will see you in the, the next video.